Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in today's episode of the Automation Minute I want to show you how to get rid of those pesky little yellow question marks inside of RS Lynx Classic and to do so we need to install EDS files and there's kind of two cases here. The first one is well maybe the EDS file is installed on the device and if it is you'll see it when you right click on the device itself you'll see that you'll get an upload EDS file from device option. Let's go ahead and do that with this this is an L1. I'll select yes here on the warning. And um, in moments, we should have the wizard pop up. And this is the EDS installation wizard. And I'll click on next, and next, and next. And I'm not going to change those pictures next. And everything looks good. Next. Here it comes. And click on finish, and I'm done. And now, you can see I have my L1 here. And I can actually browse through and see the backplane of the L1. How easy is that? Well, not all devices are that easy. Some of the older devices, or some maybe even newer devices, don't have the EDS file embedded on it. Like this PanelView Plus 7 I have. It's um, it's a PanelView Plus 7.1 uh, model, and, um, and you can see here there's no option to upload the EDS file. So, instead we're going to go to Device Properties. And we want to make note of this device. You know, what is it? It's a 400W. You know, let's look at the revision, and, and more importantly, let's look at this EDS file to make sure we get the right one from ab.com. So let's go ahead now and open up our web browser here, and we will go to ab.com. That will redirect us over to ab.rockwellautomation.com, and from the top of the screens under Downloads, we're going to click on Electronic Data Sheets. Okay, and here, whoops, no, I don't want to take a survey. Here, I'm going to select Ethernet because it's on Ethernet. And it's an HMI. And I'm just going to put in 2711 in search. And wow, that's a pretty broad search. So let's go ahead and see if we can find our exact model here. I'm looking for the 400W. That's a 9. Let's see, 400W, there's a 7.1. Now I'm going to hover over the download link. Just to make sure, you can see at the bottom of my browser, it's kind of small, but you'll see this if you do it yourself. You'll see that it has the exact same EDS file that uh, was in RS Lynx. So I'll know that's the right one. So I'll go ahead and click on download. It's downloading. Uh, let me go get that, and I will cut that out and paste it onto my desktop just to make my life easier. Paste. And you can see that file matches what's here inside of RS Lynx. So now the next step to manually add an EDS file is to start the EDS uh, wizard here, which you'll find under RS Lynx, Tools, well it depends on what version of RS Lynx you have, but it does come with RS Lynx Classic, it should install automatically. Um, and here it is, the EDS Hardware Installation Tool. I'll go ahead and start that up. I'll choose Add. I'll go Browse for my file, which is on my desktop now. There it is. Next, next, you could change the image here if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, but you could. Next, next, and finished. And I'll exit that. And here, if we browse again, you can see that now it does see my PanelView Plus 7 as actually being the correct device. And now I should be able to actually go online with the download to it, upload from it, and whatnot. So um, those are two options for getting EDS files registered inside of uh, RS Lynx so you can actually connect to your products. And with that, that's the end of this episode of the Automation Minute. Now, if you would like to learn more about PLCs or HMIs, head over to my website, theautomationschool.com, and I have six different courses up there on all kinds of different products. And if you'd like to help me produce more free episodes of the Automation Minute on YouTube, then why not go over to patreon.com forward slash automation and make a small monthly pledge. And with that, again, that's the end of this episode. Until next time, peace.